Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. Here we are going to see file operations in C language. We are using standard IO.h. To handle files, you need to use a file pointer. This FILE in capitals, it is important. And then you need to declare a file pointer. Uh, the two major operations for files is f open and f close. You need to open the file first. There are different open modes. Uh, open modes are R for read, W for write, A for append. Then, uh, if the file has a problem, either the file doesn't exist or you don't have a, uh, an access privilege to access that file, you will get into errors. Let me show you something first. I try to open c colon hello dot text. Always when you are dealing with c, use two backslashes because some sometime if you say c colon slash new file, then that backslash n will act as a carriage return. So always use two backslashes. Now let me try to open it in read mode. If it is in read mode, then the file must exist. Okay, uh, the file must exist. Otherwise, you will get into errors. Okay, now. I go here in C colon, there is a file. I remove that file purposefully. I remove that file. It's gone. Okay. Now I come back to this one. I try to execute this particular function. Now let us see. I am trying to open that file. If the open doesn't succeed, you will get a null pointer. If it is resulting in null, that means the open was not successful. Otherwise, you will return a positive handle. Now let us run this one. Now you see error in file open because the if you are opening it in read mode, the file must exist. Okay. Now if I go here and then first I want to show you how to write to that file. So I am opening that file in write mode. When you use it in write mode, if the file doesn't exist, it will create that file. If the file already exists, it will overwrite that file. Okay. Now I have opened the file. I am checking whether the file pointer is not or null or not. If it is not opening it correct, I say exit of one. Exit means it will come out of the program with an error code of one. Now I use f printf for printing on the monitor. We used printf to do it on the file. You are using f printf. The first thing is FP, the file pointer. Whatever you have got using the open, you need to use file pointers. If you want to write to multiple files, you can do multiple F opens, FP1, FP2, something like that. You can use the respective pointers there. Then same format specifiers. I am writing a, a number and then I am writing a string. Uh, imagine like this is employee ID and this is employee name. So I am creating two records. Okay, employee ID, employee name, another F print of employee ID, employee name. Then finally, I am closing that file. Let us execute this program. Okay, it has done that. Now I am coming out of that. Let us go back and then check whether the file exists. Okay, now you see the hello.txt is created. Now let us open it. If you open here, it says 178 James, then 245 Rahim. Since I have not given a backslash n while writing, it is printing on the same line. So we don't have an issue now. Now let us go back and then do one more stuff into this. Let us try to do it again. I am executing it again. So already there are two records available in the file. Now I am executing once again. It finished the job. Now I go back, then I double click, still the same two records. It has not added that. The reason is when you are opening in write mode, it will, if the file exists, it will remove the existing records, then newly write. If you want to have it appended at the end, use A mode, append mode. So if the file already exists, it will not erase those records, it will append at the end of it. Now. Let us try to write, uh, say, 378 and 845. Now let us execute it. There. It works fine. Now I go back. Then I 
double click now you have got four records 178 245 378 and 845 so if you want to add to the content of the existing files you need to use append mode if you use w mode it is going to have a problem again it, you need to take a cautious decision depending upon what you need now since we have already written to the file now I want to read from the file it's pretty much you use printer for printing and scanner for reading from keyboard and mouse you all you need to do is F printf and F scanf to deal with files I'll show you that now okay I have created the line F scanf for F scanf you have to give the file pointer then you need to know the format in which you have written we have written percentage d space percentage s same way you need to retrieve if you interchange them it will not work properly so you need to give the same format for reading and writing from and to the file now percentage d percentage s then I have declared two variables i for the employee ID and s of 20 for employee name ampersand i and for characters arrays for s of 20 you don't have to give ampersand s the name of the character array itself is the pointer so you don't have to give ampersand s just give s then that itself acts as a pointer so f scan of read the i and the s print them now let us execute this so it has to get me the first record so it gives uh, 178 James the problem is it is also giving 245 as the next character so the issue here is is it is not null terminated then it is also going to get you the next value so let us go and then open the file so if you open the file 178 James 245 Rahim so there is a space delimiting so it, he's able to find out the number correctly but when it comes to string he's taking it the entire stuff so that's going to be an issue so you need to always have a proper format to write and read from the files let us further fine-tune this now look at this I have given percentage D and percentage 5 yes so whenever you are going to write you write it in a specific format say 20 characters are reserved for the name 15 characters are reserved for the address 5 characters are reserved for zip code something like that you always write it in a formatted mode rather than heading for a null terminated string now let us execute the same stuff good it is doing 178 James it has read the first record let us do one more thing let us issue the same command once again okay so I am doing two F scanners let us see what happens now it has read the first record 178 James 245 Rahim now all I want is I want I do not know how many records are in the file so I want to read as long as there are records keep on reading and printing it there is an easy way so you need to use a while loop but how do I find whether I have reached the end of file or not there is a specific command let us do that look at this syntax I am using a while loop I do this f scan of this is a statement this statement returns end of file EOF in capital letters C is case sensitive you need to use this EOF is the end of file if f scan of returns EOF then that means I have to come out of the loop now what I'm doing is as long as f scan of does not return EOF okay as long as I am not at the end of file keep on reading and print those values that are read so if the file has got 100 records it will keep on reading one after the other let us execute this now look at this first record 178 second record 245 third is 378 fourth is 845 it has reached the end of file so it is stopping over there so in file operations it's very simple declare the file op file pointer then use the fopen use two slab backslashes r for read w for write a for append then that r plus for read and update w plus for write and update a plus for 
append and update. These are all the open modes. If the open mode, if the f open doesn't return a valid pointer or if it is equal to null, you need to come out of that program. Use fprintf for formatted writing, use fscanf for reading. Your reading format and writing format must be exactly the same, otherwise you will get into problem. If fscanf returns end of file, that means you, are, you have no more records in the file. Then finally, do fclose to close the file. Do not leave any file opened. Thank you.